Good morning to Ford Credit and Jordan. Um, I called you October 2nd concerning my last lease on a 2016 Ford F-150. My name is Robert Jacobs. Um, lease number is 54257088. And when I contacted you, we were discussing some excessive charges. Um, the last five or six of my VIN on that vehicle were C29426 on a 2016 black F-150 Sport. And I just wanted to take a second, make this little video, and go over some of the excessive damage live on video, because um, I do have some discrepancies on it. And I'm not trying to be a an unruly individual. I love the Ford product. I love the Ford brand. Um, I am currently in my fourth F-150, or my third F-150, my fourth lease. And this is the first time that I've had an issue with any of them. But I'm gonna step out because I'm actually right in front of my previous 2016 F-150. And I wanna go over some of the, some of the damage. So if you wanna hold on a second, I'm gonna switch the screen to the back side and walk out and go over it. Thank you. And again, Jordan to F and to Ford Motor Company credit. I strongly do appreciate everything that you guys do on a daily basis for us. And I do love the Ford brand. You know, my family does bleed blue oval. So let me just go over this right quick with you. Okay, as you can see, we're walking up to the F-150. It is right here. And I will not, you know, the grill, yes, there is some damage and some crack there. But the main two that I'm concerned with is the fog light. As you can see right here on the fog light, there is a noticeable crack right there. But as you rub your hands, over it there is no distinctive exterior damage on this fog lamp where that crack is right there it is actually on the inside of the fog lamp there is no exterior damage whatsoever on that so i don't feel and just like this one here noticeable crack but again no exterior damage on that none and, and like i said before on the grill yes i don't just i don't disperse the fact that there is damage on the grill the fog lamps i do dispute <clears throat> and i only dispute it because with the cracks being obviously as you just seen on the inside of the lens I have a funny, probable, and possible feeling that that could have been a manufacturer's defect or straight from the supplier. So I don't feel that I need to be or should be charged for that damage at all on the bill. But as far as the grill goes, and I have their inspection right here. Now, as we look here, we see the grill assembly. If you go to FordParts.com and look up FL Z FL three Z dash eighty two hundred dash AA, that's the actual grill part number from Ford Motor Company themselves online. The grill is $340. And it's just the outer edge that needs to be painted. And it comes primed. So I don't feel that the 2.20 hours or the 1.4 labor hours is correct. I believe that's a lot excessive. The part $562 is extremely excessive. $220 over what they actually charge from FordMotorCompany.com backslash parts. And again, FL3Z-8200-AA. 
8200-AA is the part number. So, again, I truly do appreciate and love the Ford brand. And I know that I was given a $300 waivable um, receipt with releasing of a new product, which I am currently sitting in right now, my brand new 2019, which I absolutely love. The truck is awesome. But as far as my excessive bill on my current on my previous 2016 of $962, I believe that and strongly agree that that is extremely excessive. You know, 109 which is the funny part because we have a left front lamp fog fog lens cracked cost on that 106 45 but the right side is 109 21 same part same piece um plus the labor to put it in but as you obviously just seen it's not an exterior crack so that i don't feel i should be charged with at all especially considering that it's almost 60 bucks in labor charges for something that i shouldn't have to pay for my discrepancy on this is obviously the grill concerning the fact that the bill itself and the cost itself is $340 for the part and the paint and labor I strongly dis disagree with that charge I have a strong suspicion that if I were to go to one of our many Metro Detroit Ford dealers to their body shop or collision shop I have a strong feeling that that labor price would be a lot cheaper than almost $200. So I'm hoping that we can come to a better understanding or a better, a better, what's the right word here? A better conclusion to this. Um, I know Jordan, when I spoke with her, was very nice, very professional, very courteous, and was able to help me out and get me down to around $600. But as we just kind of stated and went over some things, I don't feel that that is fair. You know, after looking at what the part on Ford.com is and labor, which I know is cheaper than this, your average labor rate would probably be right around 120 an hour. And that's about all I feel that that part would be on an excessive level so i would be looking at like right around 460 less my 300 waivable amount i think we can do the math on that and again i'm not disputing the grill not at all it is cracked it is broken and i have no issue on making the the proper payment on that but this excessive amount